I'm really excited about this video. Um, we have a person named Adele who has been hunting Dead Horse Bay for a much longer time than I have. Check out uh, what she found. Let's give her some instant credibility right here. These are amazing. This is what you call mastery of Dead Horse Bay. And <laughs> on top of that, uh, she saw uh, Jonathan and uh, my videos. And you heard that right. OMG. She watches our videos. In addition to Adele, we are doing a group hunt. We have Jonathan Mejia back. And we also have Keith DeFazio from Underfoot Adventures and New Level Auto. But first, let's go over what we know about Dead Horse Bay. So, there is a map on the left-hand side from 2015. On the right-hand side, uh, we are in a topographical map, 1889. First, look at how little Dead Horse Bay is. A lot of people actually think that the garbage site is out here because they see all of the bottles on the beach and they think, including myself, I, I thought this too, that uh, it was out here and it was pushed in. It is the opposite. It is in the cliffs uh, on the uh, far side away from the shoreline. And uh, basically all of the good material uh, is still getting pulled from there. But here's the thing. I've tried using a metal detector there and there's just so many metallic objects that are there. It just causes it to false like crazy. And I have other videos that can show you that. Two, I've tried digging into those cliffs. And it, it, it's really, it, it's something that you can, I suppose, pull a bottle from there. But in terms of finding the objects that I'm looking for, you know, it... it it, there's a better way to do it, and that's what I want to show you in this video. Part of it is the advice that Adele is going to give, and the other part of it is uh, what I know about being a beach metal detectorist and where objects fall due to the physics. So keep watching in this video, and you're going to see what I consider to be the secrets of hunting or mudlarking at uh, Dead Horse Bay. See, I got this. this Smart. Adele tip number one is to buy a gardening tool, like one of those things that pulls the roots. And uh, that makes a lot of sense considering that uh, we have a lot of surface finds at Dead Horse Bay, and this will help us kind of move the top layer. And, you know, you want to pull the objects and look, you have to look exactly where you end the pull, if that makes sense, because it kind of piles up. And um, I do, you don't want to just blindly do that. Um, you want to have an idea of where the objects land that you're looking for. That's what I'm going to show you uh, in a few moments in this video. Adele tip number two. If it's not raining, do not bring a umbrella. No, I, I, you see, here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm humble enough to say, like, you might have watched my tutorial. I'm Mr. listening to Rain, every word Mr. you're Mr. saying because I'm learning. Yeah, you know what? This is lipstick. That I've seen. No, you really do. You, you do really do. I'm a regular, but I'm not as regular as other people. I've been going, oh my god, that's gorgeous. I've been actually driving down after work. So when Adele gives you a tip, you listen. She says, look with your feet. And that kind of makes sense. I, you just found two marbles right there? You were looking with your feet, that means. <laughs> Good. That's awesome. Give me for Jamie. Oh, this cool. Yes, you like this bottle. See, you gotta look for your feet. You'll find them. And sometimes you look up the rocks, and sometimes they're right under the rocks. But look with your feet. You know, I'm curious, what do you think about this? Look. So, from a metal detecting, I know that, like, like objects kind of, like, stick together. Yeah. So, if it's something with, like, the same weight as a marble. Yeah. I, I know... It, it, it tends to like disperse to the same points. You know what you, I mean? That's what I called you. I said, scrape that little spot. Gotcha. So it's you the like uh, spot I'm going to keep looking around right in this area you across. Found them. We came right here. Two of them together. Yeah. You like this bottle? I seen that yesterday. No, no. Yeah, that was the one. Uh, it's still. Uh... Now I think you see what I'm getting at. The tides move objects and they consolidate objects. So basically, 
small objects tend to stick together and round objects tend to stick together. What I suggest is that you look for points where you're seeing a lot of these small objects consolidating. And that would be a good place to really focus. And that's where you could find the treasures. By the way, if you're hunting for bottles, all of this advice goes out the window. Go get your ADHD on. So I've got one final tip before we start this hunt. And that is, uh, it's a good day to go when it's raining or the day after it's raining. And it's important for you to know, I did this hunt over two days. The first one was when I went with Jonathan and Keith. Uh, but the second one, it was raining. And there was a huge difference because of the washout that uh, the rain causes. Anything that is sanded over, it's sanded over no more. Everything gets exposed. So you want to go to Dead Horse Bay uh, to hunt uh, when, uh, ideally when it's raining or after it's raining and during low tide. Uh, those would be my final two suggestions. Hello everybody, it is Merrill and we have a group outing. We are here at Dead Horse Bay. Uh, Jonathan is here. We, we got all sorts of cool kids coming today. So you'll see what I mean in a few moments. All right, so Jonathan and I are heading back to uh, pick up some friends. I, I just have to quickly point out, we're waiting for our friends, but I just found my, I think, fourth or fifth coin of the day. So joining us today, we have uh, Mr. Keith DeFazio with, uh, he's, he's started a, um, a metal detecting channel, uh, Underhill Adventures. Ah, see, my memory is like seven words. That's it. Yep. And also more famously on uh, New Level Auto. So I, I will link to both of those channels as well as Jonathan's in the video description. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go start digging. Okay, it is not every day that you get a prescription bottle. Ruby Weinberg for prescriptions. One every two hours. Look at the date here. 12-17-1952. Wow, this is uh, pretty amazing. This is a pendant of some sort. And it's got all sorts of uh, beautiful designs uh, right at the base of these cliffs. 
So here's my theory. Uh, this stuff is clearly burnt. I think you see stuff like this. Um, I, I know from uh, trying to melt copper that it, it's got a really high melting temperature and other stuff would have melted. You know, this would have stayed. And then when it erodes out from the waves, um, you know, hitting right in here, that's where you get stuff like this coming out. I think I found a coin. Not sure what it is, gonna have to clean it up. Just found two coins fused together. Again, how cool is this? Anything that has a higher melting point than what was melted in here. Wow, look at this, and look at the crystals. Uh, survives, and look at that. It's been encased in that for however long. Might have to keep this bottle. Look at this beauty of a uh, belt buckle. Truly from a different era. This is you know the ink pens? Yeah. The ones they used back, back in the day where they used to draw the ink out of the bottle? Yeah. Well, you turn the ink over and there's the well. Oh my God. And you put the ink in there. Oh my God. That is so cool. <laughs> I got, I got one. You can have that one. But see, you take the, the thank ink, you. You put it here, Bye. and they used to take Bye. the pen and, and with the little thing suck it up in here. You know, I'm a visual artist. I could actually use this. So cool. So we just exchanged bottles. I got, uh, I got this inkwell bottle, which I could use with my art. And I got this tiny, tiny one. It's the smallest one I ever got. That is really cool. Yeah. Glad we could exchange that. I'm I learned yeah. so much. <laughs> and this is why I'm referring to Adele as the legend of Dead Horse Bay. Because right there when we were talking, she pulls an ink pen right out of the dirt and was kind enough to uh, offer it to me. So I not only went home with a uh, ink bottle, uh, a classic ink bottle, but also an ink pen. You you are the legend of uh, Dead Horse Bay in my mind. What is this? I don't know what it is. But I have a cleaning video uh, on my channel. So yeah. But let me tell you, I, I, I seen one. But then when I, when I try to get the when I try to get the one, yeah, there was a whole bunch. Yeah, and they were so these were all together. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan is a brave soul. Look at this. He's he's getting bit by a crab. This is what you call an original badass right here. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever he, he wants to do. He's going to find a hiding place. Yeah, they, they all hid as soon as I moved that thing. I thought there might be something under those rocks, but, uh, you know. Pen? I guess so. Here you go, Mr. Crab. <laughs> yeah, I did not know there were crabs around here. <laughs> Look, I found an overgrown paramecium. Whoa. Look at this guy. Not messing with you. Is that a leech? I think that's a leech. Yikes. I'm not going to steal your treasure, buddy. I promise. This is cool. What the heck is this? I said the same thing when I found this. I saw the top and I was like, is it complete ball? But no, it's just... Oh my God. It's heavy too. That looks like, I, I thought I would think it's a cannonball, <laughs> but it's not. It's heavy. <laughs> oh my God. It has some weight to it. Yeah. So we got a paper find here. A very interesting one. What does it say? Could that be a toy or could that be uh... Oh my God. It's laminated and kept it so even if it went in the water, it wouldn't get damaged. There you go. I think it's, yeah, we need a little Hold on, let's wait. We gotta find the submarine. What are you doing? I can't find the cup though. So, Pepsi bottle, and I think their current marketing is you share it with your friends. So, I, I don't know which one of you guys to give it to, but. I like Pepsi. There you go. Oh, it smells beautiful. It's perfume. Wow, you take a whiff of it that. Is. We found a, a uh, actually, not yeah. we. Vintage perfume. It's got perfume. Take a picture, I think, personally. Coca I think Pepsi. it should be shared. Coca Cola, a yeah, full bottle. Wow. Just found a beautiful, beautiful glass piece. It's transparent and it's 
got a flower imagery on it. Really cool. Just got a nice little button. Um, this could be silver. Gonna have to clean it up and see though. Just found what I think is a bale seal. Um, 556. This is, uh, it sure looks like a part of an earring. All right, now I'm on some good ground. Got another wheat scent and a bale seal. This one's definitely a bale seal. It's a cool old valve. And right in front of me, not sure what these are, but interesting pieces of metal. It says M-O-N, like Monday. And another one here. Got another one of these interesting parts. It has like the eagle on it as well. Wow. Okay, that is the find of the day. Look at that. Woo. Okay, that, yeah, that's an incredible button right there. That might be military of some sort. Um, see if you could see Waterbury Button Company. Waterbury? Yeah, Waterbury Button Company right there. That's a military button. It is? Yes. Nice. That's gorgeous. Check out this ashtray that uh, Keith found. What was that, a dragon? I'm not really sure. It's it like, looks like some kind of serpent in there, right? Game of Thrones is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is pretty cool. I think it's an ashtray. Or maybe is it a spoon rest? Dad? I don't know. Dad. It's small for a spoon rest. Very nice. I found uh, George Washington <laughs> on the way out. Yeah, look, he's got the uh, the British uh, wig hair. No hands. It's kind of like one of the Greek statues at the Met. So we're trying to leave Dead Horse Bay. It's tough to do. You just start staring at the ground and uh, <laughs> you see something else and uh, you pick it up. It's so tough to leave. I just find this fascinating. Look, look at how this spoon, when you remove it, you know, you could see some of the silver, some of the purple. Just see beautiful things here. I found a barbell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is exactly what I mean. You can't leave this place. It's so tough to walk out. Look at these guys. <laughs> How tough is it to leave this place? What's that? How tough is it to leave this place? Oh yeah, I don't... I mean, he just started detecting it. He found like a flower thing, so... Yeah. I, I can't walk away. <laughs> so you have to like I, cut I your... I'm back here tomorrow morning. There you go. I, know, I just gotta know what time, time goes out. And I'm gonna... Yep. I, I so Keith came back the next day. I came back two days later. Well, I'm back on the trail to uh, Dead Horse. And I think I got a little help this time. Look what I found. So hopefully today is going to be a lucky day. So what I'm doing today is I'm applying what I learned from my friend. Uh, and, you know, basically uh, she said to, you know, get a pair of these uh, scrapers and uh, in various places where you see the objects that you're looking for. And in my case, it's the small objects, um, the yeah, coin like objects. You know, I want to scrape around on the ground. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Found an interesting metal object. Adele found something. Wow, that's huge. That's really cool. Yes. Score, high five. High five. All right. Found an old lipstick container. All right, this seems to be a good spot. Look at this. We got a key here. Got another one of these rings here. Got a gear. But you got a round, could be button here. Lots of round objects. Oh, look at this in a chain. So I'm going to try scraping around here, see what happens. Oh, here, a washer. Cap of some sort. Yeah, let's scrape around. This is a good spot. Didn't find too much stuff scraping, but found a nice little button here. 
got my first coin of the day and that was a product of scraping so gonna keep going all right so I'm gonna treat this as a new technique because really for me it is I I've noticed that you don't want to essentially do this watch what happens you see how it gets all muddy you can't see anything you got to be really gentle when you pull things out and sometimes things you know round objects they reveal themselves here's a cool little gear another one of these rings got a chain of some sort but yeah you do it uh, gently and if you see something clumping up you pick it up like here got a nice little button like object except it's like cut off at the top yeah, which leads me to believe it's not a button can anybody ID, ID this uh, out in the comments I'm curious yeah seem to have hit a really good spot lots of little round objects hopefully some of those are coins all right this is my first amazing find of the day it's a bale seal look at this that is absolutely absolutely gorgeous I think this is the best one I ever have uh, pulled from the ground uh, this makes the trip worth it uh, just even if I find nothing else but I'm thrilled with uh, with this one I also want to quickly point out look at how the small objects accumulate uh, I've hit a hot spot oh is this a button got a little button here okay but look at this this is you got a key here I better move because it seems the tides are moving in and a gear good spot very good spot all right I'm learning fast so we got first of all a penny right here wheat penny but look at this another one of those bale seals this is equally detailed is the last one so this is uh, I'm thrilled got another ring here so I'm gonna keep in this region all of the uh, small objects they're tending to small round objects that is tending to stick together here even this another bale seal this one is tiny not nearly as detailed but still I'll take it and we got another round object over here which really is nothing it's a washer but it shows me at least that uh, I'm in the right place so I'm gonna try something new in addition to uh, using this I'm gonna try moving the rocks in this region now uh, that's just a shell and seeing if we could uncover anything that way that absolutely worked found third coin of the day it's just a wheat scent but let's move this stuff let's see if we find more or is it a wheat scent no it's not a wheat scent look at this no idea what this is wow gonna have to uh, clean it up and see okay so that's on my protocol now you see if you find a region with a lot of small round objects oh you start moving stuff now I could say undoubtedly this little buckle here I wouldn't have found it if it wasn't for this tool. same thing been scraping same spot I've barely moved and found a beautiful beautiful bale seal this is my fourth or fifth of the day I moved down the beach a little bit I found a chain look at this I have no doubt this is a horse chain well it's apparently bale seal day look at this got another one all right, so I moved the rocks around, looked with my feet. No coins, but uh, found some pretty cool stuff in here. I like this one especially. And now since I reworked this spot, I'm going to carefully scrape the surface. See, this would have been a part of a buckle. Gently scrape the surface. I went way too far in the past so that I basically just only disturbed the surface and uh, let's see if we missed anything yep another bale seal continued my scraping found this beautiful brass bottle cap it will be beautiful and another one of these uh, round objects washers 
But again, those are here. There's uh, other things that could be present. Another really old key. Tiny, tiny silver ring. Uh, I, I'm thinking it's silver. I mean, the way that it's aged in this. Um, yeah, so hopefully it is. Good God, this looks like a piece of brass. That's quite a, a bit of scrap metal right there. Oh, this is the find of the day. It's a piece of jewelry. Um, it looks like a heart. No, it's a cross. That's beautiful. Wow. This I found with the scraper. Yes, you need the scraper here. This is bail seal day. This is ridiculous. Found two more. And we have another bail seal. You guessed it. Uh, I love it. I'll keep taking them. Plus, this looks like a, well, screw of some sort. And, oh, cool. It is a uh, metal block of some sort. Crazy. Crazy, I tell you. You might be sick of bale seals by now, and rightfully so, but I just found a huge one. This is the biggest one I've ever found. It's coin size. So at this point, I'm getting tired of uh, squatting, and uh, you know, I've pretty much stayed in the same region, and I've found some really, really great stuff. Uh, but I wanna walk around. We're starting to approach the peak of low tide, so let's, uh, let's take a lap, and we can always come back. This place is just too good. Look at this button that I found. I think this is going to be really nice when I clean it up. Glad I chose to walk around. Got another nice button that I'll have to clean up. More bail seals. I'll take them every time. Found two more really, really nice buttons that I'm going to have to clean up to see what exactly they are. Oh, love this place. Just as I turned off the video, I have another button, but it seems to be missing the cover here. Sadly, I got a broken piece of jewelry here. Looks like part of a crown. Got another beautiful broken piece of jewelry. Got an unidentified but interesting object here. I don't know, could this be a piece of turquoise? Uh, it looks like it was in a brooch of some sort. Can't find the brooch, but uh, I saw this on the surface. That's good enough for me. Second marble of the day. So I've been walking, it didn't yield the same results as uh, when I was uh, totally uh, in one spot squatting and like looking very closely. Like here, here we go, I found two maybe three good things in one spot yeah i did another bale seal a bottle cap uh, that's made of metal and this interesting object of some sort um, so i'm gonna slow down and uh you know give this area a close look seems to be another good area um lots of small rounded objects Here's another one. Yeah, so gonna go slow and uh, back to the uh, older ways. Now hold the phone. That might have been my find of the day. I thought it was just another object, but it was a beautiful Waterbury button. It's got the New York seal on it, and Waterbury buttons are made specifically for the military. So uh, as far as I know of this object, it is a, um, a military button from somebody who served in New York State. So to me, there's no question about it. I just got one, two, three, four bale seals and some other interesting stuff just by squatting in one place where I am seeing these tiny objects accumulating. So that is my go-to strategy until proven otherwise. Um, look for these hot spots and just dig slowly. Look at this. This is beautiful. Might be a belt plate of some sort. Yeah, it looks like it was clipped onto something. It's really fragile now.
tides are definitely coming in so i gotta move um more knickknacks a few more bail seals this is another one of the finds of the day it's a piece of jewelry some sort or maybe it came from a horse uh buckle uh, yeah, the horse chain you know uh really happy about this piece yeah, this is solid not sure the material it could be lead or it could be silver gonna have to clean it a little bit more um and that'll tell probably if it's uh, from a horse or from a human uh lead would be a horse and uh you know silver would be a human but it's just got that patina it's got greenish too could be copper i'm just speculating let's uh let's find out ending the day on the hot streak this is a perhaps a button cover don't think it's a coin um but it's got a nice little impression on it curious to see what this looks like when it's cleaned up wow okay what a great way to finish the day uh, this was in the wall and um just absolutely gorgeous blue bottle what a find uh, this seems to be a uh, horse shackle very morbid nice green marble so the day ended with a beautiful sunset and then a rainbow I found a four-leaf clover Tom Petty correctly said some days are diamonds some days are rocks this hunt produced diamonds for me but I think that one of the most important things that a person can do in life is to listen to the voices in their head. Follow your instincts. If they tell you to pick up a metal detector, do it. If they tell you to write a book or paint a masterpiece, try to figure out how. Chances are that you might never achieve the goals that you intend, but it is not so bad if you enjoy the process. Life is short. Do not ignore the voices in your head. Those voices and the people in your life are the roadmap to happiness.